Hi everybody, I'm BC and welcome to a special Halloween episode of Nomads. I was a couple of weeks ago someone had posted something in the in the workshop that kind of gave me the idea of why not let's do something festive for a change on the channel since I never do. And I thought this would be an interesting one because there has been a, a couple little additions as you saw from the intro and we will check them out as we go. So the first one we're going to check out is Grandpa's Coffin Cruiser from the show The Monsters. If you've ever seen this before, you'll know exactly what it we're talking about here. As you can see, it's a, it's a relatively cheap build. It's just a, a little vehicle. And so we'll go ahead and build it. And here it is. Grandpa's Coffin Cruiser from uh, The Monsters. Uh, I actually was in the editing room when I realized that I missed this one segment. I had to replace the wheels on here. Uh, he had the wheels sideways, so the arrows were actually on the sides here, and the steering was doing the top of left and right, and so on and so forth. And I'm going to edit a video, and I'm realizing, wait a minute, uh, I'm missing a segment, and there's a segment there that's not supposed to be there. So anyways, this is um, Grandpa's Coffin Cruiser from uh, The Monsters. And as you can see, it's just a standard Coffin Cruiser. Now i got to remember the same jokes I made before, and I got my back the steering backwards. Give me a second here. And just do that, and on the other side, and you know, you think about the number of times I've used wheels and hover pads and air blades that I'd know which way my steering was supposed to go, but no, never do. But there we go, we have a coffin on wheels, which is great for people like me who don't know how to drive, because at least that way when it comes time to salvage the wreckage after the aftermath, they don't have to worry about <laughs> getting the jaws of life out, they just dump the whole thing in the grave and we're good to go. That's a neat little neat little idea, a little festive. I think it was sort of a last minute thing, but that's Halloween. It's all that matters. But there we go. This is uh, Grandpa's Grandpa's Coffee Cruiser from the Monsters. Really old show. It might be worthwhile checking out. They probably have reruns of it going on around Halloween. You never know. It's a 60, 50 year old show, so who knows what they're gonna have. But anyways, on to the next one. And the next one I probably should have built first, so we could have a little more light to look around. But we have some festive Halloween lights by Viking Noble. Really cheap, just a couple of slopes and solar beacons. Uh, place in uh, There is some building instructions for this. You have to hit X twice and then rotate because the way it's built. But we'll go ahead and look at that right now. So as you can see, it shows up right in your face. you got to zoom out all the way, which is about that far. And we change your axis so it sits like that, and then you can basically plant it anywhere you want in the ground. Now, apparently there is a way to actually light up plants and trees, and you just walk right up to it. It's going to show red, but if you look straight down, it should print, but the light doesn't show through on this one. Oh, it does. A little bit. It's a little far down. Let's get another one down. We'll actually get a few of them down so we got some light here. That'd be nice too, as if uh, when print, when recreating the same blueprint, if uh, it actually kept the uh, axis and rotation and distance, sort of like it does with building blocks. Oh, I'm all over the place here. Oh, wrong button. Aha. Yes, there we go. All right, and we're getting the one over here some light so we can actually see what's going on here. I'm going to try to light up on one of these trees just for the sake of it. Because that was supposed to be the selling point on this whole thing was being able to, to light up trees and bushes and whatnot. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, I think... Yeah. It doesn't want to work for me. There we go. That actually did work. So as you can see, it lights up the plants from underneath. Those things are annoying. And there we go. So we got these nice decorative lights. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna come up with different colors for different year, like different festivities and all that stuff. But it's definitely a nice little touch. Get a little bit of Halloween action going if you wanna get yourself a, I don't know, a haunted house set up for next year or something like that. It'd be, it'd be an interesting thing. It's gonna be. Interesting to see what people are going to come out with in the next couple of months since the blueprint team hasn't been out much and you know we don't have as many players in the community as we'd like but still it's a nice little touch so let's move on to the next one. Next we have this jack lantern by Quark. 
This was actually pretty cute when I saw it. I thought it was pretty funny. I was just Jack Lantern. I was Jack, yada, yada, yada. You can move the Jack if you want. Uh, and left in case somebody wants to make something. Again, fairly cheap. Just plates and frames and one circuit. And I think everybody's got that in their inventory. And here it is. So I'll place it down. Have a look at it. And gotta love, like I said before, gotta love the addition to the color in the game. It just really makes things quite interesting. That's actually really cool. What I want to try to do is give him some teeth. Let's see if we can find something sharp. Let's go with this. Let's go with uh, orange. One there. And then one there. Unfortunately, the lighting doesn't make it work out too well, but there you go. Good job. Good job, Viking Noble. What was it? Quirk, sorry. I got that name wrong, but Quirk. Good job. I like the little creativity. Yeah, just the little things you can do in this game. It's just... Whatever you want to build, you can build it. That is cute. Let's get a few more of those out here. Why not? Let's decorate the decorate the landscape. Now, what, what would also be nice, too, is if you could build multiples without having going back to the machine. So I could place one there, and place one there, and place one there. Yeah, there we go. Now, this is where spring would come in handy. And I was actually trying to think about an idea I could come up with for spring, but... You know, the way things work in this game, it might be a little bit too much. And that way you can have it sort of bop, bobbing around like a, a bobblehead, for instance. But there we go. There is Quark's Jack-O-Lantern. Uh, you can find this one in the Steam Workshop. There will also be a uh, link in the description for a direct download. Next up, we have Hazel's Supercharged Broom. Uh, what was it? Halloween Ride. It didn't all fit in here. Uh, but it's by Head Monkey Boy. Uh, I had a thought. Why not fly in Broom? That's, a per that's the kind of thinking I do. It's like... Get an idea, it's like, hey, let's build that. Why not? Why? Because we can. Happy Halloween Nomads from uh, Head Monkey Boy. There is the building cost. Uh, fairly cheap. It's got a little bit of higher tier stuff, but that's nothing for us. All right, and I'm building this during the day just so we can actually see it. It was kind of dark at night, but there we go. We have a giant flying broom. And I keep forgetting to change my zoom. Hang on. It's like... I should see this thing. When I saw this thing, it just my face lit up. It's like, yeah, that's that's the kind of thing I would do. Definitely. Let's not talk about what it actually looks like, but the fact of the matter is, it's a flying broom. Now we just need some witch hackling. There we go. It actually flies really good, too. Who would have thought brooms were aerodynamic, huh? It flies really good. It gets a good speed. Uh, the only thing I like to see the devs work on is the drift in this game the drift tends to be too much sometimes especially when you stop and your ship just keeps drifting like this when the air blade should be stabilized but regardless a very creative idea very outside the box and kudos to you head monkey boy i love this one it's definitely great there we have it we have uh hang on a second let me get the actual name of this Yes, it is actually Hazel's Supercharged Halloween Ride. And again, it's by Viking Noble. You can check it out in the Steam Workshop. There's also going to be a link in the description for a direct, direct download if you're not on Steam. And there we have it. And finally, I decided to add something of my own to the, the list here. Uh, since I haven't done anything festive, like I said, and I, I'm a festive virgin. Ah. Anyway, but I decided to make a little dancing skeleton. Again, the thing doesn't show up in the title here, but it's Bones, a dancing skeleton. Now, this is an orc shop. Uh, he's a skeleton who loves to dance. Uh, just add 600, 600 watts to the thing with Bobber up front there, the switchboard, <laughs> and watch him go. He might need a little bit of bump to get going. And it's relatively cheap. The only expensive thing in this thing is four hover pads. So let's go ahead and build it. All right, and this one could be done at night, too, because I did put a light in the front there, and that's just to get a little bit of lighting on the face and the bones and structure. So I'll just give you a quick tour of this thing. It's just basically a whole bunch of blocks and hinges set up in the fashion of a skeleton. Uh, everything should be unlocked in the blueprint. As you can see, there are four hover pads down there, and all it's really doing is as the... One of the feet come close to the hover pad, it pushes us away, causing it to move around and bounce around, and just basically a whole bunch of randomness, which causes it to jump or dance. So now we gotta do is just hook up power. Yeah, it is four hover pads, so you will need 600 watts for this. And just go ahead and connect that right to that. And there we go, we have Bones, a dancing skeleton. I was actually gonna think about trying to get like five or six of these set up and get some 
non-copyrighted river dance music playing. See if we get them dance in sync. But there you go. We have Don Bones the Dancing Skeleton. A little animatronic. I thought I'd throw it together for Halloween for you guys. But anyways, with that, now we'll leave the episode here. And it just goes to show the limitless possibilities that it is the world of Planet Nomads. It also shows how much creativity there is in the community. You know, like that, even something as simple as a jack-o'-lantern or a flying broom or a dancing skeleton. The fact of the matter is, if you want to build it, you can build it in Planet Nomads. Uh, don't forget to check out the Steam Workshop for these guys' builds. Uh, there will be a link in the descriptions for everybody's builds, including uh, Bones over there, if anybody wants it. And with that, I wish you all a happy Halloween and happy nomading. Later.